I once had my furnace go out in the middle of January, and I remember how cold it was. About 8 o'clock at night, I got into the bed and into the center of the bed because you know how it is when something like that happens. You can never get immediate service. I've actually had the same system, which is also air conditioning, go out in July. And uh, what great engineering that is. Anyway, when I got into bed, I got into the center of the bed and covered myself with every cover. And I was quite warm, much warmer in the center of the bed than I would have been on the sides. Well, I want you to think about that today, how you are covered by the presence of God and you are literally in the center of God, wherever you are. You're not to the sides, you're not to the sidelines, you're not outside of the circle of protection. You are God-centered, you're God-directed in that center, and you're God-motivated. In Ezekiel, it says this, My dwelling place shall be with them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Well, to be centered in God, directed by God, and motivated by God's power, is to have a perfect link up with the source of all your good. And make no mistake, it is the source of your good. All of life, all of health, all of prosperity, all of success, all of happiness and peace of mind that you could ever desire come from this center, being centered in God. It is available to you. Your need is to realize that you are in the center of God. To center yourself in God, in your prayer time, in your awareness, in your realization. To listen to God's inspiration and God's guidance. And to let God's power move through you in daily life. To center yourself in God. You first pause in prayer and you turn away from the things that would concern you. And you place your attention on the goodness of God. You think in terms of health and wholeness. You think in terms of joy and peace. And you think in terms of prosperity. You concentrate on the blessings of God being there at the center. And then you listen in prayer. You listen in prayer for God's guidance as to what you are to do in order to meet the demands of your day in a successful way. You feel a centeredness in this. You feel an inner confidence and assurance that is welling up within you And you know that God is giving you the power to fulfill God's plan for your life. 